Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about the user interface of Firebase and some of the services when you use. If you are a beginner to Firebase, you might have a difficult time understanding different services you see in the Firebase console. So we are logging in the ViewShop app, the ViewShop project here. If you click on this little icon, you will ha have the opportunity to create another project or see all other projects you have for the Firebase. So here is the, in the interface. We are currently on the authentica authentication area here. By default, of course, you are in the overview of your application. If you are on the overview of your application, all you can do is, it is just a simple overview of getting a starting. Like you can develop application for iOS, Android, and the web or Unity for gaming. And it will just give you the starting point here. This is just the basic interface. Going to the develop, it is going to show you the top services that most people use. These are done like uh, like people like us. When we are developing any uh, application for web, mostly we use the, de the develop tab here. The other tabs are also important, but those are for the apps, mostly for mobiles. When they see the crash analytics, the performance and test lab and some other stuff. For us, we will focus on the develop area. So in the authentication, this is all about user authentication. What you can do here, you can see all the user you have. You can reset their password, you can disable them, you can add a new user and all the stuff like that. You can enable or disable different methods. If I come to the sign in method, you have like for now, the user can have like they can log in user using email and password. You can enable the phone, the Google, as well as Facebook and Twitter. So the options you see here is all about authentication as well as you have template. Template is where you can customize the email that you can send for the user. Let's say a user want to reset their password. You send the reset password or email configuration and some other mm, basic options here. So for the database tab, this is where we focus in the next video. Database and Firebase, you have two different database. One is real time database and the other one is uh, cloud firestore which is new on beta but this is the like a very powerful and very nice database in the next video we will discuss more about this one and you will find it like helpful especially for those who come from sql or php yeah if you are coming from sql it is a bit difficult to understand how different relationships work in the firebase because they are schemaless which we will discuss in the future video but this is where we store all our information like text you have you have email address any type of information which is like a text file you can store that in the database next up we have uh, the storage the storage where is where you store the file for example you have image you can upload and store it here you have video you have audio you have pdf anything you will store all of those files here we will focus on the upload image upload also and we will design a VZBIG editor so that we can upload images on the storage in the future video and hosting is where you can configure the hosting for your application we have not deployed our application yet firebase will give you a free unique url or a free unique domain that you can deploy your application but that is not going to be like a .com email. It is going to have the extension of Firebase at the end, Firebase.io. We'll, once we deploy our application, you will come to know. But in the hosting, you can what you can do is you click on the getting start and you can add your own domain. If you have a website, all you have to do is you have to confirm that that is your domain and it will automatically can connect your Firebase application with your website and next up we have functions here functions are if you know a little about uh, aws or if you don't know i will explain functions are what will run in the server you know node.js right this is going to run in the server and this is what node J you, you write the node.js code here in the back end it is not going to be visible for any user in the front end currently any code we write here is visible for the user in the front end but what you write in the functions they are called um, cloud or uh, firebase cloud function 
and you can write them here for now they do not have a graphical user interface for writing function maybe they add that in the future you can write them directly in your code for now we do not touch it here and then you have the ml kit so it is basically a machine learning behind the google so if you are developing any android or ios application so ml there has a lot of features that you can implement in your application and use the api or the if the api that google provide you it will give you access to the ai and some of the cool stuff using ai and you can implement that in your application the common example is reading an image like if you want to read a text from an image that is done by an ai so if you want to implement that in your application that is going to be in the ml kit for us most of our focus is in the top four of this one we might not uh, focus on the function of course hosting storage database and authentication for developing our web application so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any questions so far feel free to ask below the video and thank you for watching